This is how the Nismo Juke makes me feel. This is the 2014 Nissan Juke Nismo RS. It's the regular Juke's evil twin and it's a lot of fun to drive. I actually really like the way the Nismo Juke looks. It's so ugly, it's actually kind of endearing. I kind of like how it looks like an atomic frog. The Nismo Juke is really awesome because the, it doesn't take itself too seriously and there aren't too many cars out there that are like this. The Juke Nismo is really fun to drive. It's really happy with childish hijinks and it just darts in and out of tight spots really well. It's also super responsive and really engaging to drive. Well, when I got in the Juke, I was surprised by how hatchback-like it feels. It doesn't really feel like an SUV. It feels more like a, a fun little car. Kind of like a hot hatch, but with a little bit more ground clearance. I think the Fiesta ST actually rings in a little bit less than the Juke. Um, the Juke, I would say, is a lot more fun than the Fiesta ST, although I'm a big fan of that car as well. I feel like the Juke is slightly overpriced. Uh, it's a little bit out of the range of a student car. It might be something for someone in their early, mid-twenties who needs something fun and practical and a little bit weird. The Nissan Juke Nismo is a legitimately fun, sporty car, and I feel like that's very rare in this market. A lot of cars marketed as sporty cars make a lot of compromises and they cut a lot of corners and they're kind of nanny cars. But the Juke Nismo is kind of all on its own in this respect because it's legitimately fun, and it's weird, and it doesn't make compromises. The Juke Nismo is different from the regular Juke. Oh! <laughs> this is gonna take forever!